Glycoside is a sulfonylurea used to treat hyperglycemia in patients with type 2 diabetes mellitus. In this video, let's find found. What is glycoside? What is glycoside used for? Contraindication. What are the side effects of taking glycoside? How does glycoside work? How to use glycoside? What is glycoside? Glycoside, sold under the brand name Diamicron among others, is a sulfonylurea type of anti-diabetic medication used to treat type 2 diabetes. It is used when dietary changes, exercise, and weight loss are not enough. It is taken by mouth. Glycoside was patented in 1966 and approved for medical use in 1972. It is on the World Health Organization's list of essential medicines. It is not available for sale in the United States. What is glycoside used for? For the treatment of NIDM in conjunction with diet and exercise. Contraindication. Type 1 diabetes. Hypersensitivity to sulfonylureas. Severe renal or hepatic failure, but relatively useful in mild renal impairment e.g. CKD stage 3. Pregnancy and lactation. Side effects. Common adverse effects over 10%. Hypoglycemia, 11 to 12%, while it was shown to have the same efficacy as glimpiride, one of the newer sulfonylureas, the European Guide study has shown that it has approximately 50% less hypoglycemic confirmed episodes in comparison with glimpiride. Uncommon adverse effect, between 1 to 10 percent. Hypertension, 3 to 4 percent incidence. Dizziness, 2 percent incidence. Hyperglycemia, 2 percent incidence. Viral infection, 6 to 8 percent incidence. Back pain, 4 to 5 percent incidence. Rare adverse effects, under 1 percent. Cystitis. Weight gain. Vomiting. Pharmacodynamic. Based on the pharmacological properties, glycoside is a second-generation sulfonylurea, which acts as a hypoglycemic agent. It stimulates beta cells of the islet of Langerhans in the pancreas to release insulin. It also enhances peripheral insulin sensitivity. Overall, it potentiates insulin release and improves insulin dynamics. Mechanism of action. Glycoside binds to the beta cell sulfonylurea receptor, SUR1. This binding subsequently blocks the ADP-sensitive potassium channels. The binding results in closure of the channels and leads to a resulting decrease in potassium efflux leads to depolarization of the beta cells. This opens voltage-dependent calcium channels in the beta cell resulting in calmodulin activation which in turn leads to exocytosis of insulin, containing secretory granules. Half-life. 10.4 hours. Duration of action is 10 to 24 hours. Dose. Doses of glycoside can vary. Take this medicine as prescribed by your doctor. The maximum daily dose for standard glycoside is 320 mg. If you need to take more than 160 mg a day, it should be divided into two equal doses. For slow-release glycoside, the maximum daily dose is 120 mg. Safety advice. Glycoside is not recommended in pregnancy as there is little information about its safety during pregnancy. Other medicines used to treat diabetes, such as insulin and metformin, are safe to take during pregnancy. That's all the information about glycoside we collected. Thanks for listening. Do not forget to like, share, and subscribe for the He Info channel if you like this video to update more health information.